Before viewing this section, you might want to review video 59 on free terminal devices. FET stands for Field Effect Transistor. We'll see exactly why it's called this over the next few videos. The FET has three terminals like the ordinary transistor. These are called the gate, the drain and the source. The symbol is shown on the screen. The FET fulfills a very similar function to the bipolar junction transistor or BJT that we've studied in the last few videos. The gate controls the current flowing into the drain and out through the source as shown on the screen. In other words, the gate fulfills the same function as the base on the BJT. The drain is like the collector and the source is rather like the emitter. So given this, what is the difference in operation between the BJT and the FET? Well, an FET gate has a very high resistance and so essentially draws no current. So we can't consider it as a current control device like we did the BJT. Rather, we need to consider it from the outset as a voltage control device. So the current through the FET is controlled by the gate to source voltage and is governed by the equation shown on the screen. ID is equal to GM times VGS where GM is the FET transconductance and has units of 1 over ohms, which are sometimes called mu's or siemens. We'll delve into this in much more detail in the next few videos. Unlike the BJT, which basically only comes in two forms, NPN and PNP, there are many types of FET. A basic family tree is shown on the screen. All these devices operate in a similar way. However, they all work at different polarities and gate voltages. Some examples are shown on the screen. Because there are so many different types of FET, we won't be able to cover them all. I'll just pick one or two example types to illustrate the general ideas and principles. And you can look up the exact design procedures for the more exotic types in textbooks. In general, however, it's also worth noting that most of the circuit types that we covered for BJTs, from current mirrors to switches to differential amplifiers and others, can also be made using FETs with very similar topologies, so many of the circuits will seem very familiar. And again, we won't be able to cover every single circuit type since we've already covered them using the BJTs.